Do you ever take gigs where you have to play stuff you don't like? Let's talk about that right now. This is Share the Knowledge. This is the Share the Knowledge podcast for DJs. All right, not playing what you like. Let's talk about that. How do you deal with not playing what you like? DJ TLM, bro, thanks for all the help on YouTube and all that good stuff you do. I started DJing about a year and a half now, and I've been watching your channel since 13, 14. I need advice on something. I'm a DJ that likes playing original songs only of new hip hop stuff. So I know how to make people my age group, 16 to 25, turn up and vibe with all the music taste and knowledge. I did play at a bar once and I only had older people that were not into hip hop or any stuff that I personally like. I had a really tough night making people dance because of my taste and knowledge. How do you deal with not playing what you like and not being yourself because of the age group? If you can answer me, bro, it will mean a lot. I appreciate everything you do. So for me personally, the answer is I stay away from the gigs where I cannot play what I like. That's something I've learned over the years because I've definitely been in situations where I could not really get the crowd where I wanted them because they wanted to hear different music than the music that I would play. Now, it all depends on your goals. If it is your goal to do as many gigs as possible, then yes, it's in your best interest to learn how to play everything. If you can play everything, you can do a lot more gigs. For some DJs, this works. For me, it doesn't because that does not make me happy. At the end of the day, I chose this profession because it made me happy. DJing was my passion. I felt privileged that I could earn a living by DJing, but I wanted to make sure I keep that passion. Otherwise, if I'm doing this and it's not fun anymore, there's different things I could be doing. I don't want that. This is a choice. And you have to make that choice for yourself. So if you do not feel comfortable playing for that older crowd because they want to hear totally different music than the new hip hop, which I can imagine, then you need to focus on the gigs where you can play for your own age group. You have a specific demographic that likes what you do. That's the type of people you want to play for. So that's a choice. That might mean that you'll have less gigs because it all depends on where you are, how many gigs are there for that 16 to 25 group. If there's not a lot, then there might not be a lot of gigs for you. But yeah, like I said, you have to find out what makes you happy because if in your situation, a lot of the gigs that you could do are gigs for older people, meaning that you would have to play different music, then you need to really do some good research to see if you would be comfortable playing a lot of that other music. Now, maybe you haven't really experienced that other music yet, and you can find out that, hey, I actually like this genre, that genre. I like the music from 80s, 90s, the 2000s, you name it. So I don't know if you fully experimented with that, because that would clearly be a good idea just to do at home. Experience that music, see if you can find music within those genres from that time that you do like, because if you can expand your arsenal, that's always a good thing. But again, that's totally up to you. So if you can play all genres, you're going to have a lot more gigs. If you can play multiple genres, that's going to still get you quite a few gigs. If you can only do one genre or at least one time frame, it's going to limit the amount of gigs you can do. You need to find out what works for you and just be aware of the consequences. I know I cannot do as many gigs because I'm pretty specific about what I will play and what I won't play, but I chose happiness, so I only do the gigs where I can play what I want to play. You just checked out a video clip from my Share the Knowledge podcast for DJs. Now, you can find the full episodes on Anchor, SoundCloud, Stitcher, Apple Podcasts, Google, you name it. Links are in the description box down below. If you want to check out more of the content on my channel, make sure you subscribe to DJ TLM TV right here on YouTube and activate the notifications so you don't miss out on any of my future content. Check out DJTLM.com for all my links, merch, and all of that good stuff. And again, thanks for watching. Share the knowledge. See you soon. Peace.